Welcome back in today's class. Let us learn about tests of divisibility. Divi tests of div divisibility means rules of divisibility. First, let us understand the divisibility of two. Any number ending with even number, that means if a number has 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 at one's place, the given number is divisible by 2. If a number is not ending with 0, 2, 4, 6, 8 means the number cannot be divided by 2. Look at an example. Here in 268 at one place here is 8. If a number is ending with even numbers that means the number can be divided by 2. So 268 is divisible by 2. Is it divisible by 2 means? Yes, it is divisible by 2 as it has even number at one's place. Now, look at another example. Here is 1047. What is the number at one's place? 7. 7 is odd number. So, this number cannot be divided by 2. This is how you will find out the divisibility of 2. Whether the number has 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. That means even numbers at one place means the number will be divided by 2. If not, the number will not be divided by 2. Next, divisibility of 3. If the sum of the given numbers or digits is divisible by 3. If the sum of the given digits is divisible by 3, means the number is divisible by 3. For an example, 36, when you split 36 as digit, it will be 3 and 6. And when you add 3 and 6, the sum will be 9. Yes? So, 9 is divisible by 3? Yes. 9 is divisible by 3. 3 by 3 is 9. So, 9 is divisible by 3. That means, 36 is divisible by 3. Yes. 36 is divisible by 3. So, when you split the digits and add the digits, if the sum is divisible by 3, means the whole number is divisible by 3. Look at another example, 244. When you split 244, it will be 2, 4 and 4. And when you add these digits, 2 plus 4 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10. So the sum is 10. Now check whether 10 will be divisible by 3. No, 3, 3, the is 9. 3, 4, the will be 12. 10 is not divisible by 3. So 244 is not divisible by 3. So, no, it is not divisible by 3. Next, divisibility of if the number formed by the last two digits is divisible by 4, means the given number is divisible by 4. Here is 43,420. You don't have to divide the whole number and check. Instead, you will have to just check the last two digits. If the last two digits are divisible by 4 means the whole number can be divided by 4. Now here last two digits is 20. Is 20 divisible by 4? Yes. 20. 4, 5, the is 20. So 20 is divisible by 4 without leaving any reminder. So 
420 is divisible by 4. Yes? Look at another example. Next number is 3643. Now what we have to do? We have to check the last two digits. Yes, it is 43 here. So, is 43 divisible by 4? No. 4 tensa is 44. Lavenza will be 44. So, 43 is not divisible by 4. That means 3643 is not divisible. Not divisible by 4. So, whether you have to check the number is divisible by 4 or not, you have to look at the last two digits. If the digits get divided without leaving any reminder means the whole number can be divided by 4. If not, the number cannot be divided by 4. Next, divisibility of 5. How do we check the divisibility of 5? If a number is ending with 0 or 5, means the number is divisible by 5. Look at our example here. 43,463. Here at one place, it is not 0 or 5. So, this number cannot be divided by 5. Here is another number 36,450. Here at one place it's 0. So, if a number has 0 or 5 at one place, means the number can be divided by 5. Yes, so the first number is not divisible by 5. The second number is divisible by 5. Divisibility of 6. If a number is divisible by both 2 and 3 means the number is divisible by 6. If the number is divisible by both 2 and 3. That means it is divisible by 6 also. Look at an example. 82. Whether 82 is divisible by 2? Yes. It is divisible by 2 as it has 2 at 1 place. So, yes. It is divisible by 2. Whether it is divisible by 3? How do we check whether the number is divisible by 3 or not? We will add the digits. That is 8 plus 2. What is 8 plus 2? 10. Is 10 divisible by 3? No. 3 times 3. 3 3 is a 9 is divisible. 3 4 is a 12 is divisible. But not 10. So, even though 82 is divisible by 2, it is not divisible by 3. That means 82 is not divisible by 6. Example 4854. Again, here at one place it has 4. That means it is divisible by 2. Yes, it is divisible by 2. Is it divisible by 3? Let's check. 4 plus 8 plus 5 plus 4. What is 5 plus 8? 12. 12 plus 5? 17. 17 plus 4 is 21. Is 21 divisible by 3? Yes. 3 7 za is 21. 3 7 za is 21. So it is exactly divisible by 3. That means this number 4854 is divisible by both 2 and 3. 
so it is divisible by 6 also yes it's divisible by 6 also divisibility of 9 if the sum of the digits of the number is divisible by 9 the number is divisible by 9 you have heard this sentence before also this statement yes for divisibility of 3 if the sum of the given digits is divisible by 3 means it is the number is divisible by 3 correct right? the same way for 9 also if the given digits are divisible by 9 means the sum is divisible by 9 means the whole number can be divided by 9. See now 3 plus 8 plus 4 plus 3 is 18. So the sum of the given digits is 18. Is 18 divisible by 9? Yes, 9 to the 18. So that means 3843 is divisible. Yes, it is divisible by 9. Look at another example. 3849. If you split as the digits, 3 plus 8 plus 4 plus 9 is 24. Is 24 divisible by 9? No. 9 threes are is 27 and 9 fours are is 36. 24 is not divisible by 9. So, 3,849 is not divisible by 9. Understood, no? If the given digits sum is divisible by 9, means the number is divisible by 9. Otherwise, if the sum is not divisible by 9, means the number is also not divisible by 9. Next, divisibility of 10. If a given number ends with 0, remember this. If a given number ends with 0, the number is divisible by 10. If the number is not ending with 0, means the number is not divisible by 10. Look at an example. Here in the first number, 640 at once place here is 0. That means, yes, it is divisible by 10. Now, in the second number, 1264, at one place, it is 4. So, no, it is not divisible by 10. Again, in the third number, it is 2440, at one place, here is 0. That means, the number is divisible by 10. 10. So, dear students, it's so simple and easy to check whether the given number is divisible by a number or not when you know the rules of divisibility. So, hope you have understood the rules of div divisibility, rules of Checking for 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9 and 10. So, check whether the given numbers are divisible by the given numbers or not. Thank you.